I've always wondered how other people made time for hobbies. I'm talking about the people who are doing the same course as me, the same exam, same test as me, by the way. It's only because they do one of three things. So the first thing is to understand your motivational levels, right? If you're a student literally watching this video, your motivational graph probably looks like this, you know? It goes down, you know, school, or, you know, or whatever. And at night time, it's really where it really peaks. It goes up, it goes like crazy up. It's like at 1 a.m., then you're just like, you're, then you're just like the next Elon Musk, right? You have so much motivation, you start doing push-ups, you start thinking about all these cool ideas, and then when you wake up again, it's all gone. That's when you should do your hobby. It's cr like, I understand maybe it's an instrument, you can't do it, but you literally can do these other silent hobbies like building a business, whatever, at those like night times. And in case you can't, right? In case you can't, do it in the morning. Wake up early and do it in the morning. I understand some of you guys need to fix your sleep, but literally, when you wake up in the morning, you have nothing else on your mind. It's crazy how clear your mind might be as soon as you wake up and you force yourself to. You can achieve so much when you wake up. You can do all your hobbies, get it out of the way. So the first thing is to choose your time for hobbies very wisely. And the second tip is just as simple. It's to pull out literally paper and write down a line across and say, plan A, plan B, right? What plan A is, is your perfect day and plan B is your realistic day. In your plan A, make your most perfect day ever. And in case plan A fails, do plan B. But make sure in both plans, right, you include all the same tasks, like similar, right? If anything, cut down your time, but you wanna make sure they're both productive days. Your realistic day shouldn't include playing games and sleeping or something like that. It should still include work, but make it something realistic, like you wake up late, or you probably get home, you'll probably be lazy on your phone for a couple of hours or something. Make it semi-realistic for the second one. And number three, this goes out to all the people who want to be YouTubers, TikTokers, you know what I mean? Like, post a hobby on those platforms and just be like, all right, maybe your project is knitting and just like, all right, tomorrow I'm gonna do something else, tomorrow I'm gonna do something else, whatever. If you do that, you'll gain a sense of accountability. And this is literally gonna be benefit like in all different ways, right? You're gonna probably make money from it, you're gonna get views, you're gonna get fame from it. Like, think about it, you're getting accountability for free by literally just posting on these social medias. No editing, you don't have to do anything, but if you get yourself some sort of audience, like 10 views at least, they'll be anticipated to watch more. Like, oh, what is he gonna make tomorrow? It's just this sense of accountability for you that you're probably gonna undertake, and it's why I suggest you to do so. So pick one, two, or three, it's your choice. I right? really, at the end of the day, making hobbies for your, like making time for your hobbies comes down to what you really wanna do. If you're really gonna prioritize these hobbies, Anyways, goodbye guys, thank you.